near the residence of the two students, Hemjit and Lingtoi Kambi. Mafia Ashraf Ahmed's brother-in-law, Saddam, has been arrested by a team of Uttar Pradesh Special Task Force from Delhi's Malvia Nagar. Saddam is an accused in the murder of Umesh Pal of Prayagraj. Vetozo Lohe, a 19-year-old arm wrestler from Peck District, has become the world arm wrestling champion in right hand of the youth category by defeating Georgian arm wrestler in the finals of International Federation of Armed Wrestling Championship held in Kuala Lumpur. A social activist from Mizoram, Alinari Lian Luang, told the United Nations that the narratives peddled by the international media on Manipur violence hold no ground and India's Northeast region has rich ethnic diversity. Near the residence of the two students, Hamjit and Lingtoi Gambi, speaking to Hornbill TV, family members of the girl said they only want the body to be given the last rites. A relative of one of the victims said they will not settle for anything, even monetary compensation. A CBI team arrived in the state on Wednesday and met the victim. जी और आप जो बिक्ती में उसका क्या लगता है चासी लगता है तो बताइए क्या ये हम लोग चाहिए दिन महीने हो चुकी है अभी भी कुछ भी नहीं कर रही है इसलिए हम लोग उसकी बॉडी को जल्द से जल्द मिलना चाहिए कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए हम लोग उसके बॉडी को जल्द से जल्द मिलना चाहिए तीन महीने हो चुकी है कुछ भी नहीं कर रही है सरकार भी और इंडिया गवर्नमेंट भी कुछ भी नहीं कर रही है हम लोग कुछ भी नहीं हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं अभी अभी जल रहा है इसको कुछ भी नहीं कर रही है हम लोग हमारे बेटी के बेटी को बेटी बेटियों को रक्षा नहीं कर पाए हम लोग क्या करेगी प्लीज हम लोग जल्द से जल्द उसके बुद्धी को मिलने चाहिए प्लीज जी दीदी कल जो जे बना है वो जी मिनिस्टर से मिला मुख्यमंत्री से मिला उन्होंने आ, क्या वो, कहा? भी, वो भी मिला है वो भी कह रहा है फोर्टी आवर्स दे, दे रही है उसको उसके बाद हम लोग क्या करना है कुछ भी करेंगे हम लोग मरना चाहे तो हम लोग मरेगी मेरे बेटी के लिए हम लोग मरेगी उसने कुछ भी नहीं करेगा तो हम लोग मरेगी उसके बाद कुछ भी करना है तो करने दो उसे हम लोग फोर्टी एट आवर्स के इसके इसके बाद तो हम लोग कुछ भी करके कोई ना कोई तो छोल से निकालेगी हम लोग मरना चाहेगी तो मरेगी अगर चीफ मिनिस्टर अगर मानो कोई पैसा वैसा देने की कोशिश करे तो आप लोग क्या करेंगे कुछ भी नहीं है हम लोग पैसा नहीं चाहिए हम लोग बॉडी चाहिए मेरे पति की बॉडी चाहिए हम लोग कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए पैसा नुकसान कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए जो जो फोटो जो वायरल हुआ है उसको देखकर जो जो लोग इस घटना के पीछे वो पकड़ सकते हैं तो आपको क्या लगता है पकड़ सकता है वो भी बातें बना रही है कुछ भी कुछ भी बोल के इधर उधर बोल के वो बातें बना रही है हम लोग उसे देखकर जल्द से जल्द मिलना पकड़ना चाहिए ना कुछ भी कुछ भी नहीं कर रही है अभी तक जो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर के अंदर से मिलना चाहिए वो भी वो भी वो वो लोग चाहती है फोर्टी एट आवर्स दी है हम लोग को वो जब मिल देना है तो दे, देने दो हम लोग हम लोग हम लोग करना है तो हम लोग करेंगे दीदी कल एक सीबीआई का टीम आया था हाँ हाँ आया था आप लोग की यहाँ मिलने आया वो लोग क्या कहा मिलने आया क्या वो लोग वो लोग कह रही है वो जल्द से जल्द वो लोग सोल्यूशन निकालेगी वो वो पकड़ेगी और वो भी ऐसे ही बोलता है
पहले भी वो सरकार लोग भी ऐसे ही लोग कुछ भी नहीं कहने का मतलब भी नहीं है हम लोग जल्द से जल्द बॉडी मिलना चाहिए Mafia Ashraf Ahmed's brother-in-law Saddam has been arrested by a team of Uttar Pradesh Special Task Force from Delhi's Malviya Nagar. Saddam had a reward of rupees 1 lakh on his head. Saddam is an accused in the murder of Umesh Pal of Prayagraj. Two cases were registered against him in Baratari police station. Saddam came to the limelight after the Umesh Pal murder case. Saddam is the brother-in-law of Ashraf who is the brother of slain gangster Atik Ahmed. The alias Usman Arbas accused of this murder case were killed in a police encounter. Shaista Parveen, Zainab Fadima, Ayesh Shah Nuri and three shooters are still wanted by Uttar Pradesh police. Dizipe village under Chumukedima district has been awarded with the best tourism village in India under bronze category by the Ministry of Tourism's Central Nodal Agency for Rural Tourism. The award given at an event on the occasion of World Tourism Day was held in Parat Mandapam, New Delhi. 19 other rural tourism villages were also awarded in the bronze category, while 5 were awarded in gold and 10 in silver category. Winner villages were recognized for promotion and preservation of their cultural heritage and sustainable development through tourism. Union Minister for Culture, Tourism and DONER, G. Gishan Reddy, posted on X, Dizipa village in Nagaland, India is selected under a bronze category, Best Tourism Village, it but the country as a whole. Vetozo Lohe, a 19-year-old arm wrestler from Pak district of Nagaland, has become the world arm wrestling champion gold medal in right hand ship. Lohe has always has also won gold in both right and left hand youth in 78 kg category at the third BCAI national championship held in Bangalore Karnataka in 2023 as well as two golds in senior left and right hand under 78 kg category the arm wrestler from pack has won many other local and national arm wrestling championships in both junior and senior categories in the previous years it is also to be mentioned that avile zuye from nagaland who is also representing the country has won the fourth place at 86 kg youth in right arm category and fifth place on the left arm at the world arm wrestling championship It was also informed that eight players from Nagaland were selected to participate in the World Arm Wrestling Championship. However, due to financial and password issues, only Vetozo Lohe and Avile Zeye could represent the state and country at the World Arm Wrestling Championship. Renowned Indian agricultural scientist Mankombu Sambasivan Swaminathan known as MS Swaminathan passed away at the age of 98 in Chennai on Thursday. Dr Swaminathan played a pivotal role in spearheading the green revolution in India, India introducing and advancing high yielding varieties of wheat and rice. Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed deep sorrow at the loss acknowledging Dr Swaminathan's transformative work in agriculture during a critical juncture in India's history his efforts significantly impacted the lives of millions and ensured food security for the nation the prime minister highlighted dr swaminathan's revolutionary contributions to agriculture describing him as a beacon of innovation and mentorship to many he admired dr swaminathan's steadfast dedication to research and mentorship leaving an enduring influence on numerous scientists and innovators Dr Soumya Swaminathan daughter of MS Swaminathan emphasized the continuation of her father's legacy and his recognition of the neglected role of women in agriculture she spoke of her father's dedication to empower women in agriculture and ta dango breaking news aina yeah, se so those who make decisions that count to also to know lead the world we shall all work together for the development naga people do you see in the state for the protection of culture shanti ke sath the world is moving fast and you always rushing to
Welcome back. A horticulture initiative called Bloom Bazaar is set for inauguration on September 30. An invitation card mentioned that the formal inauguration will be done by Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nipirio. Giving updates during a press conference in Kohima, Abu Meta, advisor to the Chief Minister of Nagaland, said there is a booming flower industry in the state, but there is no organized system and no permanent flower market, topics that have been discussed with the Chief Minister. The idea was that the state should make a start somewhere, he said. The Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland had what Meta called a collaborative exercise with various government departments to start Bloom Bazaar, he said. Bloom Bazaar will promote not only the flower industry, it will create a space for other entrepreneurs too, including stalls for food, jewellery, fashion and stalls related to children. The reason why the organizers want to make a permanent bazaar, there is something for the people to do and visit every weekend, Meta said. He also announced that the organizers will be launching a floriculture scheme with banks and financial institutions. Bloom Bazaar, after being launched tomorrow, will take place every weekend, every Friday, every Saturday, 12 noon, to 7 p.m. But it will not be only about flowers. While the main focus is to promote the flower industry, support our floriculture entrepreneurs, we are also creating a space for other entrepreneurs, other sections to come and participate and show the best of what Nagaland has. Fifteen government departments, especially in the agri and allied sector, will be participating in Bloom Bazaar every weekend. Horticulture Department, Industries and Commerce, Agriculture Department, the missions like Bamboo Mission, Honey Mission, like that, 15 departments. And we hope that in the coming weeks, the number will grow. We are also giving space to private entrepreneurs. There will be 45 stalls including flowers, food, jewelry, fashion, and interesting stalls related to kids. The entire heritage venue has been converted with the assistance of our logistical partner, that Synergy Group. As you can see, work is going on now. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon, it will look a lot different from what it is looking like right now. We are also hopeful that this event will not only be about promoting flowers, promoting entrepreneurship, but it will also generate keen interest in Nagaland as far as tourism is concerned. We hope that in the coming weeks it will become a tourism destination too, to visit. And also people who are visiting from outside Nagaland can schedule their itinerary, make their programs, so that there is a fixed schedule of every set. Friday and Saturday, something is happening in the state capital. We are giving space, hand-holding, support to young entrepreneurs, which you will see from tomorrow onwards. I am also very happy to announce that with the support and blessings of the Chief Minister and with the cooperation and partnership, collaborative partnership with financial institutions, we will be launching a floriculture scheme in partnership with banks and financial institutions. IDEN has taken up the initiative. We are identifying flower growers and loans will be extended to these flower growers under the special scheme where they will be paying lower interest rate, no collateral, and long term this scheme is aimed at as i said earlier upscaling the flower industry so that the floriculture industry can also give a boost to the economy of the state there are hundreds if not thousands of nagas not only women but nagas who passionately grow flowers at home Many of them have a livelihood through that hobby, through that profession. We want to professionalize it. We want them to 
enhance their business, bring in best practices, minimum standards of the industry, so that flowers from Nagaland one day make a mark not only at the national level, but at the international level. We are very confident that our citizens, especially our women, are capable of doing that. We are also making studies to collaborate with national and international companies where we can bring the best quality seeds, where we can carry out capacity building exercises, workshops and seminars in this sector, so that we help our entrepreneurs at a grassroots level. A conservative estimate done by the IDEN team as far as the Bloom Bazaar economic and employment impact study is concerned. We will get more results in the coming weeks, but a conservative study indicates that Bloom Bazaar 2023, once it starts tomorrow, will generate close to 450 weekend employment and more than 300 permanent employment. So as I said, Bloom Bazaar is about giving a boost to the economy. It is about celebrating the Naga way of life, showing the country and the international platforms the best that we have. We want to celebrate all the good things about Nagaland. We want to showcase our best to the outside world. And in doing so, we want our youth, our entrepreneurs, our flower growers to succeed. We have not made a accurate assessment of it as yet, but as of now, the government has sanctioned an amount of 40 lakhs, right? 40 lakhs for Bloom Bazaar. So we are looking to partner with different government departments, sponsorship from corporates. So a very uh, small amount of 40 lakhs has been sanctioned so that we get it going. But we are looking at 30, 40, 50 weekends. And hopefully, at the end of the day, Bloom Bazaar became, becomes self-sustaining, revenue-generating, and ultimately we hope that Nagaland, Kohima, and other districts in Nagaland will have permanent flower markets. If other cities around the world can have flower markets, why not us? Um, we are having a registration system, but for the first weekend, all entries will be fee free, but from subsequent weekends, we hope to have, take a small entry fee because, as I said earlier, the aspiration is to make this event, this project, self-sustaining. The chief of Samajwadi Party, Akhilesh Yadav, on Thursday, while touring Madhya Pradesh, commented on the use of bulldozers by government, saying bulldozer is not part of the law and is a symbol of dictatorship. He asked the government has the law. Bulldozer is not in the law. This is not the law. You have the law, the force, the police. What is the law? What is the intelligence? What is the law? 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 Ten political parties in Manipur has expressed displeasure at the way Chief Minister Anbiran Singh has been handling the situation in Manipur. Speaking at Manipur Press Club in Imphal on Thursday, representatives of ten political parties condemned the killing of two students who were previously reported missing protests in various areas, mainly in the Valley districts. Further, more than 100 protesters, mostly students, had suffered injuries during the past two days. The state government had banned mobile data services again and declared curfew without relaxation in Imphal. At a press conference, I. Hemon Chandra of the Congress condemned the manner in which protesters were charged and brutal force was used against them. He also expressed shock at the way pellet guns were fired upon the protesters. He said the Biran Singh government along with the double engine central government had totally failed in tackling law and order situation in the state. Uh, today, uh, we, the representatives of the 10 like-minded political parties, have uh, come here in complete solidarity all together to condemn the horrible and the most heinous and inhuman act of the killing of two young children, almost juveniles, in the most 
horrific manner uh, for which uh, the pictures have become viral about two days back and uh, our team has also visited the family and we share the grief and uh, we uh, we don't have even words to express our sorrow and deep anguish but having said so we also feel that there's a complete failure on the part of the government uh, on the part of the government to have you know gone into this uh, issue which has been uh, you know uh, raging for three months. In fact, the children went missing, and from all reliable sources, from telephone, you know, towers, from all, you know, nowadays it's a it's a you know technology. So, you know, tracking was already done, and there was a place called Jauzan Tech where you know the, these children were last located, and all the intel was available, but. Unfortunately, come to be known that these two children were brutally murdered by cookie militants and, uh, you know, in the most uh, condemnable way. Perfect manner in which, the, in the most brutal manner, the children were tear gassed, they were shot at, and they were, you know, attacked with mock bombs. I mean, they, all, you know, decency. All That's all we have for now. For more news and updates, keep watching Hornbill TV. Dangor breaking news. I know. For those who make decisions that count, for those who lead. We shall all work together for the development of the people. Do you see in the state? Have fought for the protection of culture. The world is moving fast, and you're always rushing to catch up. Let Hornbill TV catch up for you. We are all about news that matters. More importantly, news that matters to you. Hornbill three percent as say, Idu Kali, Kauli Garne Eklan Hoi, Idu Sapa Panitu, Amikan, Agriculture Te, Kawasaman Khan Olao Likarne Bicholai, Aro, Idu Pani Khan, Wildlife Support Kure, Ekta, Healthy Functioning.